Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing yet another BoxyCharm unboxing and BoxyCharm's monthly box for this month is called BoxyCharm Getaway. I can't believe I had to look at that. If this is the first time you guys have seen a BoxyCharm video, let me just say that it is a $21 monthly subscription box that you get every single month and you get between three to four sometimes five full-size products mostly prestige brands in these boxes sometimes they have boxy exclusives it's just filled with a lot of goodies half of the time the retail value for each and every product in your box is always more than just that $21 that you're spending on the box every single month. So even if you don't like one or two things, you're still getting your money's worth. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and with that being said, we're just going to get started. So I'm starting with my eyebrows already done. I feel like I've done that so many times here on my channel. It just gets repetitive and boring and I don't want to bore you guys. But I did use a new brow pencil. This is the ColourPop Brow Boss in Brunette. You guys will definitely hear me talk about this pencil a little bit more in a future video. But this has been a really nice pencil. And I definitely love the way my brows turned out today. That with a little bit of powder. I also set my eyelids down and I did use the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. This is in Medium Dark One Biscuit. You guys know I absolutely love this product. I'm about to hit the bottom of it, basically. I still have a, quite a bit of product left, but it's nice to see dents in your makeup. You know, the things that you love, you know that they're, they're, they're being used up. So anyways, for the eyes, we did receive a palette. This is the Tarte BU Naturally palette. Now this palette does have shimmer and matte shades, about four shimmer shades, four matte shades. And if I'm not mistaken, this palette was specially created for this month's BoxyCharm box. It could be a different variation of this palette, not 100% on that, but I did read somewhere that Tarte was creating a palette just for BoxyCharm this month. This palette has frosty cool pinks, some rich bronze tone shades and a few brown tones. This palette is meant to flatter any and all skin tones. It's supposed to blend smoothly and it says that it has the Amazonian clay formula embedded in the shadows. So we'll definitely be testing that out. I really hope this palette is better than the previous palette that we received in a BoxyCharm box a couple of months ago. I do have it here with me. It's this one. This one, if you guys remember, had all shimmer shades, and I'm not crazy about a palette with all shimmers. Like, I need me some mattes. So I didn't really love that palette, so I'm hoping that I find this one to be a lot more satisfying and better to work with. So starting off, I think I'm gonna take this really light shade right here and just kind of dust that all over my lid. These do have shade names, but it's a little complicated at the moment to determine what is what. So I would just have the actual shade name pop up on the screen. So this, I guess, will be kind of like us setting down that base that we put or that I put just real lightly. The shade is not like super pigmented or anything like that. So that's, I do um, love that about this shade probably be too like stark white for me if it were to actually show up. But this is more like of a natural skin tone kind of shade. So just dust that on real quick. And then I want to take the pinky shade right here and I want to put that in my crease and just start kind of building up my crease area. There is some kick up in this, well a lot of kick up actually. In this little eyeshadow quad. I'm just gonna brush this in my crease. This color is not showing up too much either, but it'll help blend out other shadows that we use. So I'm going in again with the second layer of that shadow just to kind of build it up a little bit more because I do see in the mirror, you guys might not see on camera, but in the mirror I can kind of see the pink kind of building up slowly, which is always a good thing. Then with the same blending brush, I want to take this more of like a medium tan kind of color and use that to also blend in my crease as well. So 
we're kind of going to get the feel for all these shadows. This one is definitely a lot more pigmented and it's a nice warm tone kind of brown. The shade is really nice so I just want to pack it on my outer corner kind of and then blend it up and into my crease. Kind of doing that like circular shape on the eyes, not dragging it out. Of course, I'm going to do the same thing to the opposite eye. I'm really like taking my time to really build this shadow up because there's not too many more matte shades that we're going to be working with. Right after this, I do want to put a shimmer shade in like the inner part of my eye. Not do like a cut crease, not make it too perfect, but just kind of throw it on the front half of my eyelid. I'll blend it out and it's basically, that's pretty much how I want it. It looks really good. I really love this shade. It's really beautiful. So now I want to take this more like um, champagne kind of actually you know what I'm gonna take this golden glitter and more of like this champagne -y one right here both of those together and put them on the inner part of my lid I had to think about it for a second and I'm gonna first try without any Mac fix plus spray and just see how these shadows perform without spraying the brush down They're all right, but it could be more vibrant. So I'm gonna spray my brush. I typically like to do this regardless if it's a high-end shadow or not because nine times out of 10, you're always gonna need to do it. I am switching brushes. This is the Luxie 245 small shader brush. And I'm just gonna use that to pack the color on. a little nicer I will say doing that definitely created fallout on my face so just keep that in mind it wasn't giving me any fallout when I didn't wet the brush but after I wet it I will say that I feel like this palette is definitely more of like a natural everyday kind of palette and I'm actually really liking it so now uh, just to add a little bit of definition to my outer corner area and just to my eyes in general I am gonna take this darker brown shade right here and put that using this Morphe M431 and just kind of staple it onto the outer edge of my eye so kind of like a liner but smudging it out at the same time just to add a little bit more definition this eye Appears more lifted than this eye. Okay, so that's it for my eyes for now. I am gonna put the lashes on. The lashes I'll be putting on are the House of Lashes and Spellbound, and they just look like this. And I think they're just really nice, fun light on the eyes, just to pop on real quick. So I'll do that off camera, and then we can come back and start with the skin. Okay, so I have my lashes on and i accidentally put the wrong lash on the wrong eye and i just left it like that because honestly i think i like it better like this like the lashes are like really short on this side and that's technically supposed to go in your inner corner but i like it like this and i think i might wear it like this moving forward let me know what you guys think but i like it very natural lightweight and definitely goes with the natural eye look we got going on so now we're going to jump right into primer and we're going to prime our face up. Now if you guys remember we received a Touch and Soul product a couple of months ago in a BoxyCharm box and I absolutely love that primer. But we're back again. This is the No Problem Prime Essence Primer 
and it's also from Touch and Soul. This primer is supposed to tighten up your pores while keeping your skin silky, silky smooth. And it retails for $23. I'm not sure how I'm gonna like this primer, but it doesn't hurt to try. We'll see, it kind of looks like this. If you guys can see that. It's like a little squeezy tube. And it's making a weird noise. Um, I think I'm just gonna drip this on my face. Wow. I'm not really sure how much of this to use. You heard that? It's weird. Okay. So we're just gonna use that and then rub it in. It feels literally like you're putting water. Like I'm rubbing in water. But water that doesn't drip as much as actual water. It feels really hydrating off that. I can definitely tell you guys that. Oh, it feels real hydrating. So I'm just gonna rub this in and I feel like with this primer I can't, you should technically use primer, let it sink into your skin and then put on foundation but with this one definitely you might want to let it sit or set for a little bit because it is so watery and I just want it to give it time to actually like work. I think it's been enough time. My face is a little tacky and I kind of like that because it would definitely help with the foundation adhering better to my skin. So I'm going to take this NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation. I haven't used mine in a while so it's giving me a hard time to come out. Sometimes I feel like with pumps, like they get clogged, so I really need to like try and clean that. I'm just gonna use this elf sponge to work the product into my skin. And I do have quite a few blemishes on my skin. And I will get into that whole situation um, probably towards the end of this. BoxyCharm unboxing because there's a product that we received that I'm not sure I'm going to use or not and I'll explain that when I get to it. So far I think this primer is definitely helping with adhering my foundation to my skin. I do like it so far but obviously I don't know how it's necessarily going to work with my skin because oily skin oily combination but still I don't know how long I'll keep my makeup on today because I do have errands to run so maybe I can do like a would you call it a wear test just to see how my foundation and everything is holding up throughout the day if not I would definitely update you guys in a future video on how this product works for me most of the time <clears throat> wow that sounded weird most of the time if it's a product that I'm actually loving you guys will see it again and again in videos like I will never use a product that I don't like ever again especially in a video for you guys if I don't like it so nine times out of ten the things that I'm using in my videos constantly are things that I'm loving so that's also a good way to tell so now that we have the foundation on, I'm just going to move right into concealer and just conceal real quick. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Concealer. And I know I've kind of said before that this concealer kind of dries a little quick. But I just don't have time to do one eye at a time. So it'll take a little bit more work to blend it out, but it'll blend it out. So I'm just gonna kind of speed through this until we get to our next product. That way we don't hold you guys up. I will show you guys, you know, me doing my makeup and all that, but I won't talk through it because these products didn't come in the box. So I'm just gonna do the rest of my face as normal until I reach the next product.
Now for the next BoxyCharm item, it is a highlighter. This is the Steve Laurent Jelly Highlighter. Now when I first heard the name of this highlighter, I thought it was going to be like jelly, but really it's just powder. And it looks like this. So this highlighter is supposed to be bouncy, lightweight, blendable, water resistant, and fun to use. You can use your favorite brush or just dab your finger into the pan and apply it for an effortless glow. And it does retail for $26. Now, first of all, right off the bat, I will say for such a prestige brand, this packaging is super cheap. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, this is looks like packaging from the dollar store or something. Like, it, it cheap packaging. But, you know, it's all about the product. So let's try, um, Putting it on with our finger first, so I'm just gonna dip, dip, dip. Did I say? Did I say it was a powder? This is why you don't judge things before you even try it out. Cause this, honey, this feels jelly-like to me. All right, so I'm gonna try and apply this with my finger. Oh, I just accentuated the heck out of that. Uh, blemish that I had there. I did not mean to do that, but ooh, honey. We glowing, girl. I probably would have opted to put this underneath, maybe. Or not have set my under eye area before I put this powder, but it's all good. So I'm going to, oh, I keep calling it powder. It's not powder. It's like a jelly. It's not like super jelly, but it's it's jelly. I'm just going over it with my sponge just to further blend it into my skin. Oh, I really like this, you guys. Can I see that glow? I want to try a brush. So I'm just going to take my typical highlighting brush. Not really. Do you guys see that? Beautiful. Beautiful. Even works with a brush. All right. I mean, the packaging is still cheap in my opinion, but the product, definitely good. Okay. So I'm just gonna throw on some blush real quick and I'm just gonna use this Alomar Cosmetics blush trio that we had got, I think in May. So um, I think I'm just gonna go in with my typical which is seclusion, this light orange shade, and just dust that on my cheeks real quick. Kind of like mix it in with that highlight. And it almost makes it seem like it's like an illuminating blush. Kinda. And then I'm gonna set my face real quick. You guys already know what I'm using. receive any lip liner or anything like that. I did however receive the new Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade. I think it's new but it's the Lemonade Lip Gloss. Well there's two different ones. Mine's is in Lemonade of course and to be honest I did try this before I even did this video and I love it. So let me tell you guys a little bit about it. So this is the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Lip Gloss like I said. It's supposed to add hydration to your lips, a shine, and full in fullness to your lips without being too heavy. So it's a lightweight formula, non-sticky balm. It's a sheer gloss that's long lasting and it's flexible so you can wear it alone or layered over your favorite lipsticks. These glosses do retail for $17 each and like I said, I love it. To me, it's more of just like a clear kind of gloss. It smells amazing. And you just put it on there. See the the pink in the gloss is like very very subtle. And like I said, I did try this because I just couldn't help myself. I was actually thinking about buying this lip gloss. Sometimes it's good to wait. 
just might get it in a boxy charm box. And that is the gloss, you guys. I like it. I really, really like it. It's very lightweight, like it said. It's comfortable on my lips. It's not sticky. Not sticky at all. And I just really love it for like a nice little glow to your lips. Like it's beautiful and it smells amazing. Okay guys, so this is the final and finished makeup look. Um, I hope you guys love it. I love it. Now, I do have one more product to talk about and it is this Perlis. I think that's how you say it. Matcha Green Tea Antioxidant Sheet Mask and it has three of them in the box and this is just what they look like right here. And they're just, you know, your typical sheet mask. You apply them just like you do any other. Now the reason why I am not using that today is because I have something very important going on tomorrow and the last time I used the sheet mask, was, which is why I have all these breakouts all of a sudden, it broke me out. So I didn't want to take that risk today, but I will eventually try them. I just don't want to ruin my skin even more right now. I'm trying to resuscitate it, get it back to its health because I do have an important day coming up tomorrow. So. This little card says that the Perlis um, Antioxidant Sheet Mask is a set of three. Natural fiber mask infused with matcha green tea and restorative Asian botanicals. Flood your skin with antioxidants and minerals. Matcha green tea works hard to stimulate and rejuvenate your skin cells, helping with premature aging and hyperpigmentation. Which I don't have any hyperpigmentation or uh, premature aging in my opinion. <laughs> You know, I think I still look pretty young, but um, I will try the mask out. I just, again, didn't want to do so now because I didn't want to take that risk. And it does retail for $24. Now, I'm not sure if it's $24 for three or $24 for the one mask. $24 is kind of pricey for just one mask, but again, don't know how it works or anything like that, but I just did want to quickly mention it. So a real quick rundown, the eyeshadow palette was definitely a step up from the last one. Love the mix of natural tones, first of all. Secondly, the fact that it was not only shimmer shades, but also matte shades. So I was definitely able to create a more presentable look, in my opinion. You know, not just throw one shimmer shade all over the lid type of thing. I feel like when you have a palette that's just straight up shimmers, and you just want to stick to that one palette, there's not really much you can do with this one I feel like obviously it's more versatile easier to use and the shade range is better not to say that the other shim shades were ugly but again I needed me some kind of matte shade and there wasn't one in there this palette also provided kind of like a transition type color and I love that about it as well so then we have the primer which I seem to love so far so good and like I said, I'm going to do my best to get back on camera and just update you guys on how my makeup held out throughout the day because I do have to run some errands. But if by chance I do not, it will be in the description box down below. So always make sure you're checking the description box. And then for the highlighter, I definitely spoke too soon with this. I thought it was powder. Looking at it, it just looked powder in the packaging. But it does have that jelly texture to it and is a really nice highlight. It's not... It's subtle. It's it's very glowy, but it's like a subtle glowy, more of like a natural glowy almost. So I definitely, if I wanted to do my natural skin routine or my natural makeup routine, I should say, natural glowy radiant skin, I would definitely use this highlight. Love it, love it, love it. It works with your finger and it also worked with my brush. So either one works. And then we have the lip gloss, which obviously I absolutely love. I'm, mm, love this lip gloss. I'm gonna actually get the other um, flavor shade. I want to say flavor because it smells so good but the other shade that they have or that she has um, in this gloss definitely gonna pick that up. I think it's more of like a peachy tone so I know I'll love that as well but loving the gloss. Very comfortable on my lips, not sticky, none of that. And for the final product, again, the masks, I'm not going to try them right now. I'll update you guys in the next BoxyCharm video. Hopefully I will have tried them by then. And you guys know I'm good on my word. So I will definitely update you and let you guys know what I think about these in the next BoxyCharm. So you'll hear about these in July. Okay, not going to try it right now, but I definitely look forward to trying it. 
So I added everything up really quickly and everything does come to a total of $126. That's how much the products are worth in my box combined. Now if I subtract the mask, which I did not use, which was $24, that still leaves me at $102. So to pay $21 for this box, when the value of it is $102 if I were to go and purchase each of these things on my own, I think that's one heck of a deal. So you see, even if I don't like one or two products, I'm still getting my money's worth. So that's what I love about these subscription boxes, or at least this one in general, is that if I don't love one or two things, I can still get my money's worth and I'm, I'm more than satisfied. So $102, that's not bad. Okay guys, so it's been about five and a half, real close to six hours that I've had this makeup on my face. I'm ready to take it off and just get comfortable. I ate and all of that, so as you can see, the lip obviously didn't stay. I didn't expect it to. Eyeshadow still intact. Everything is where it needs to be. It's just really, really oily right in this middle section of my face, especially right here next to my nose like it's like super oily I did not touch up my face throughout the day I didn't use any blotting powder none of that I wanted you guys to just fully see how my makeup was gonna last with that primer now I will say that I'm not gonna completely not use it anymore I definitely will continue to use it but I will use another primer with it that I know that will not do this so that in combination with another one i think will be perfect for me with that primer by itself it's just not gonna work for my oily skin like it's just not it's just really really like super oily in this area i could just blot it yes but i think using a second primer with that one will be more beneficial overall i'm really happy with these products and i really love the outcome of the wear of everything else um it just looks really good and i will continue to use it i'm definitely a big fan of this eyeshadow palette i would definitely be using it a whole lot more i just again here's another look these shades are just very natural beautiful and everyday friendly so definitely will be using this i will still leave my final thoughts in the description box i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always i will see you guys super soon in the next video or vlog whichever one comes first but until next time i will talk to you guys later bye guys <laughs>